So here we're going to find the area of a trapezoid. And the formula that we use is A equals 1 half all multiplied by B1 plus B2 multiplied by the height. And the A stands for the area. The B1 stands for the length of the bottom side of the trapezoid. B2 stands for the length of the top side of the trapezoid. And if you want to switch B1 and B2, that's perfectly okay. You can make B2 the bottom and B1 the top. You'll still get the same exact answer. And the height is always the straight up and down distance between the top side of the trapezoid and the bottom. So let's get started right away with an example. So here we have a trapezoid with a bottom side with a length of 6 meters and a top side with a length of 4 meters and the vertical distance between the top and the bottom is 5 meters. And before we start plugging things into the formula, I'm just going to label everything in our trapezoid. I always like to label my B1 as the bottom side, so our bottom side, which has a length of 6 meters, is going to be our B1. That means that B2 has to be the length of our top side, since our top side has a length of 4 meters. 4 meters is going to be our B2. And the height is always the vertical distance between the top and the bottom. And this is given to us, the distance between the top and the bottom is 5 meters. So our distance of 5 meters is going to be our height. So now that we labeled everything, we can just plug everything into our formula. Our area is going to be equal to 1 half all multiplied by B1 plus B2. Our B1 we know is 6 meters, so I'm going to plug in a 6 meters for B1 plus B2, which we know is 4 meters, so I'm going to plug in 4 meters for B2. And this is all multiplied by our height, and we know that our height is equal to 5 meters, so I'm going to plug in 5 meters for our height. So now I'm just going to simplify this just a little bit. Our area is equal to 1 half, and inside our parentheses we have 6 meters plus 4 meters, 6 meters plus 4 meters is equal to 10 meters. And this is still multiplied by our height, which we know is 5 meters. So now we just need to multiply everything together. So our area is going to be equal to 1 half times 10. 1 half of 10 is equal to 5. And 5 times 5 is equal to 25. And we can't forget about our units. Area is always expressed in square units, such as square feet, or square yards, or square inches. Since we're given meters in this particular example, our units are going to be square meters. So the area of this trapezoid is equal to 25 square meters.